Yeah, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm gonna convert these old sprinkler heads that are running on AC, uh, which is like your typical timer on the wall, to DC, which is this battery operated timer here. It allows you to have uh, commercial grade or residential grade valves in the ground uh, without having to use any power. Just all runs off this timer, which is controlled by uh, just batteries, and then it can run up to, I believe, four zones it might i don't know i thought it said five i think it's four four zones per unit so right now i'm in the middle of converting my solenoids over to dc which is that red and black wire those are those solenoids which are here and these are the old style orbit valves that have the smaller diameter thread i'll explain that in the next clip but the first thing you got to do is take the old valve out so Okay, so you can see here, this is what the solenoid looks like when it's removed out of the existing uh, orbit valve. And you can see it's the solenoid and then that little piece at the bottom is the actual uh, on-off switch. That you're gonna need to do the conversion. And the new style orbit solenoids actually require an adapter. I'll put the uh, link down in the description below. There seems to be some confusion about that. Here's the new solenoid here with the protected threads. And then just to show you what it looks like when the solenoid's popped off, you can see the threaded hole there. Now, if you just try to put the new DC solenoid, don't be careful, this thing will fall out too. I'm gonna to take it out just for demonstration purposes here. If you just try to thread this into here, down here, you'll see that it doesn't, oh man, terrible camera work guys, sorry. See how it just drops in there? It doesn't thread. It's because you need to use the existing switch so I'm doing this one-handed guys sorry about the camera work but this little switch here threads off of this solenoid so let's let me show you that you're gonna need to keep these and check your o-ring status too if that o-ring tears right here you're gonna need to get a new o-ring so there's the old solenoid that's what you're not going to use this is what you're going to use so the DC solenoid will thread into here and then this threads back into the valve. So let me go ahead and do that now. So here's what it looks like before it goes in the valve. It's the new solenoid, the DC solenoid, which just means direct current, which just means battery. AC is plug-in, 120 volt, DC is battery. So that's all I need to know about that. So DC solenoid with the adapter right here, and I clipped off my on-off switch because I don't need it, and much, much, much easier to work with in this box. So now this just threads into the valve. So you can three, see I have all three active valves converted to DC. This one I'm gonna wait for later, but there's all three converted to DC. So now what I'm gonna do is turn the water on and some of my sprinklers might turn on because that little magnetic um, valve stopper might be stuck on. So I turn the water on, checking for leaks. I can see that my sprinklers are kicking on without the timer. So that just means that your valves, um, that little metal thing in there is just magnetically popped up. So now let me connect the control box, which is this guy, and I'll show you how it works. I have everything installed. Got some mulchage going on in here. Some drop off. So basically the way this works is the DC solenoids are plugged into this little battery box here. And the way you kind of get to everything here is just flip this open. And you can program everything. I'm not gonna go through how to program the whole thing. There's already a video on that. But if we look at the actual control center, and the two zones of grass you see there, zone one and zone two. I'll go ahead and illustrate just kind of how this thing works. So just hit manual. Oh, I'm sorry, I turn it on to auto and turn it on to manual. And then I believe that's zone two, two. And let's run it for five minutes, four minutes. that comes on, that'll water grass zone one. You shut it down, you just rotate this to off. Okay. And I think that zone out there <laughs> is grass zone. I'm gonna try to guess here, uh, four. Yep, there we go. 
So those are kicking right there. That's how it works in a nutshell. It's pretty cool. So now you don't have to use any sort of electricity out here. I never had uh, run electricity out here. So these valves are kind of useless, 10 years old. You could see one of them bit the dust. But one thing to note though, like I said in the beginning of the video is if you're gonna run with this setup, with the DC setup, you need to get the, I'm gonna post it down in the description below. There's a part number that's basically acts as that on off switch adapter for the newer style valves. The newer style valves have a big old wide opening see actually here's a newer style right here shut this off this is a new style right there let's open this up this is good to know because this is what threw me off for a day or two open that up see how big that opening is remember here's the old valve no way in hell that's gonna thread in there definitely no way if I show you a solenoid over here that's put together, compare the two. So this is what we installed in the old valve, the little adapter and this, and look at how big those threads are. So you definitely need to get that adapter. So just note that. So this video helped you guys out in any way on how to install a Orbit DC sprinkler timer on some existing Orbit valves. Please leave a thumbs up. Remember to comment, subscribe, and I'll get you in the next video. Later.